All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're talking, well, bit drivers. They don't seem that important, but they can really save your butt. All right, so I've got some various types of bit drivers on my roll cart. In case anybody is wondering, this is the top to my JSC 770 from Matco. Just makes a good filming surface. So I've got various types of bit drivers. If you've never needed a bit driver, well, thank you. Thank your lucky stars because you obviously haven't had a Torx or screw in a tight spot that you can't fit a re regular screwdriver. Now I've got a couple types here. First one we're going to talk about is Easy Red. Now this has a adjustable bit driver on one end, obviously reversible, and it's got a magnetic bit end in it and on the other side it's got a quarter inch just driver on it. Really good handy tool to have for those awkward positions but it comes at a price. This one it tends to break. They're good but chances are you're going to have to warranty it but usually when you're breaking it it's in a tight spot so Hopefully you broke the fastener loose as you broke it. Now the next one we're going to talk about is this Matco. Now I haven't actually broken this one. It's same kind of deal, magnetic. I've got a Phillips in there right now and it's same deal except it is a fixed head. It's a little bit of an offset. The other side has a magnetic hex drive that's larger. And honestly, it sucks. Don't buy it. This might work for you perfectly good, but if you're looking at it from the quarter inch side, skip it. It sucks. You wind up leaving the socket and the adapter in a place that's really hard to get, and it sucks. Obviously, if you're dealing with small places, you're gonna need small options. Now, I've got a couple options here. I've got this kit from SunX, it won't come up on the screen, but it is a SunX kit and it comes with all these bits, except this one. This is a custom bit for a specific job, a Lincoln ABS module. It's an odd setup, but anyway, and I've got a custom ground one in the kit for 20 Torx for the same reason, custom job, and I don't remember what that job is, but that's why you have it. Now I've got this SunX, which is actually what comes in the kit, and this is really good. I haven't broken this one. Reversible bit driver, you know, same deal, magnetic, and obviously the advantage is it's small, so you can get in there and go with low turning, it's not the finest tooth, but definitely comes in handy. And the kit itself is really nice with coming with all these bits. Now this one is from Vim Tools. This one is kind of unique in that it's got a, again, a bit driver on one end and it's reversible. That same kind of offset that the Matco has, but it also has a fixed end. So basically, if you want to break something loose, you put it in this end, break it loose, then you flip it around, and then you've got a ratcheting end. And you'd be surprised how often that comes in handy for, well, dash work. Because let's be honest, most of this stuff is going to be for dash work. Now again, you can never have too many bit driver kits. And so I got this one from Mac. Kit on, part number on the kit is SBR39SB. I don't know who makes the kit, but again, it has a similar setup to the Matco one, except 
It's got a bit more options as far as bits. You've got triple squares that go in the 5 16 hex side, and you've got a really small, stubby triple square or hex. This kit actually has hex down to two millimeters or eighth inch, all the way up to 10 millimeter and three eighths. But it's also got really stubby T10 to T50, again, for those really odd situations. But the thing about it is with bit drivers is you got to have lots of options because they're never in convenient spots when you've got to use a bit driver. So you've got to make sure you have all the options you need. And including on that is buy various size bits. You can go to Harbor Freight and buy their bit kit and then that way you can custom grind some sizes, you know. This, I'm pretty sure, was a Harbor Freight. It got the job done, I ground it down, it probably doesn't retain real well. Actually it does. Surprisingly, it does retain on the magnet. But the whole point of this is if you're doing something that requires bits, you want to have all the options you have available to you for various situations. I can't stress that enough. Sometimes this will work. Sometimes this will work. Sometimes you got to pull this out. Sometimes this works a little better. But Definitely when it comes to bit drivers, get all the options. I know it sounds like a commercial, but the fact of the matter is, is you need all the bits. You need all the bit drivers. The big thing with situations where you're dealing with those is these big old things don't always fit where they need to go and you gotta use a you know, long one, you gotta use a short one, jam your hand in there and try to uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna put links to all this stuff or as much of this stuff as I can find in the comments. You need, you need lots of different options when it comes to bits, because trust me, you gonna need them. If you haven't needed them, good on you, because <clears throat> most of the time when you have to pull out that stuff, it sucks. So as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.